right, y'all, I'm posted up on Gramercy Place here in Los Angeles at the last address I had with my father. We lived right there in that tan building on the first floor. In fact, that window right there was our living room. And uh, we moved here back in the 1980s when I was a teenager. And we lived here for about seven years. For about seven or eight years until my father moved back to New York. And this is where I transitioned from, I guess you could say an adolescent, into a teenager, into a, to a young adult, right here on Gramercy. And let me give you a little history. That white building over here, on that side, uh, G-Bone, Gregory Everett, the filmmaker and the founder of Ultrawave, he was my neighbor there and he moved there in the early 1990s. So he was my neighbor for several years. In fact, when I lived right here, my bedroom was on the edge of the building. So I would always see the traffic going into the white building. So I would always chop it up with, with G-Bone all the time. And I, ha I had already knew G-Bone before he moved here. I met G-Bone back in 1985 and was actually a part of Ultrawave. So when he moved here in the early 90s, I was shocked to see him because I hadn't seen him in a minute. And uh, he was my neighbor for a few years, uh, up until uh, 1994 when I left, when I left Gramercy. But we got here in the 1980s, and this is pretty much where I grew up. I spent about, I spent my adolescence, my teen years, and I transitioned from a teenager to a young adult, right here on Gramercy Place. And back in the 1980s, Gramercy Place was. It was rocking and rolling almost every day. And I lived on, on this area right here from, from Pico to Venice, which is right behind me. But the whole Gramercy Strip was pretty popping from, from Pico to Washington. And this was, my, this was my address right there. The building to the south of my building is where the legendary Craig Munson lived. Craig Munson actually moved into this apartment building after he was released from, from prison from San Quentin in 1975, he got here many years before me, but by the t by my first year here on this block was Craig Munson's last year here. So I never crossed paths with Craig Munson. So, you know, when I moved here, I was just a young buck. I hadn't even never heard of Craig Munson, you know, when I was like 14, 15, 16, but I was shocked to find out this is where he lived uh, from from, nine, from the 1970s up into the 80s. And he moved here because his friend John Brown, legendary bodybuilder from the east side, Walnuts, rest in peace John Brown, lived right here behind me. So here's a little history of uh, Gramercy for you. John Brown from the Walnuts, legendary bodybuilder. OG from the east side, rest in peace, lived there. Craig Munson lived in that building. I lived in this building. Rest in peace to Gregory Everett, G-Bone, the filmmaker of 41st and Central. He lived in that building in the early 90s. And I used to chop it up with, with G-Bone all the time. But this is where it kind of all starts for me as a young man in Los Angeles is Gramercy Place. And um, I have some incredible memories on this street. Uh, this street was always on and popping as soon as you hit as soon as you jumped off your porch something was going on on Gramercy and um, I can tell you a hundred stories about this block and my experience living on this street back in the day.